New supported routers in the Arden lineup from GLINet. Different type of router for Arden Mesh Network coming up. Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us here, click on the subscribe button below and check that bell notification icon so that you can keep up with all the videos that we post and be notified of every time we post a video on this channel, usually every Monday. So if you've been watching any of my videos uh, lately, uh, you know I've got a new ham shack set up and I'm, I get to use some new cameras and some new angles and whatnot. So one of the really cool things is that I now get to go like this. Actually, I just knocked that. How about like that right there? So in the new lineup of Arden supported devices are these GL iNet. Uh, GL iNet is the website right there on the side of the box. And this is a USB stick. And this is a little micro USB router, which has a micro USB port right there, or um, a power port right there for micro USB, LAN port, WAN port for Ethernet. The coolest thing about this, in my opinion, is that it has an ex it has an external antenna, so that you can take that standard SMA and connect it to a um, external SMA antenna and run it in a vehicle, and then that USB port right there can be powered from a cigarette lighter adapter that's running USB, regular USB to micro USB, that kind of thing. So it's, it provides a lot of versatility to the existing lineup of Arden. You know, when I first started in Arden, the only thing they supported was uh, Ubiquiti devices. Now they've got TP-Link devices, MicroTik devices, and now these GL iNet, which are fairly new. I probably should have recorded this video a while ago, but I was busy with the shack remodel. So we're going to record it now. And uh, I'm not going to tell you how I know this. I'm going to open this one up real quick. I'm not going to tell, I'm, I'm tell you guys how I know this, but I know for a fact that if you take this device and you use it a little bit and then you put it in your pocket of your shorts or your jeans and then you wash those shorts and jeans in the washing machine, this will not work afterwards. Okay, just a small little tidbit of information. So, <laughs> yeah. These things, I'll put links to these things down. If you go to kit.com forward slash, um, I think my call sign, kit.com forward slash KC5HWB, uh, I've got a section on there where you can actually see. Actually, I'm going to pull that up right now. There we go. Yeah, kit.com forward slash KC5HWB. Let me switch over here. Bump, bump. There we go. Now, uh, URL is right here. If you scroll down here and go to Arden Mesh Hardware, this is not everything that Arden supports. This is everything that Arden supports that I have personally used. Um, some of my most, th these, these nano stations are some of the most popular ones around the area where I'm at. This one right here is, I, I have not personally used this antenna, but my club has, and a couple of the other clubs around here have. Uh, this is this uh, device here, and this is this device here. So these two devices, both by gl.inet, the AR150 mini router and the uh, USB 150 stick are what we're going to be talking about today. I'll put links to that in the YouTube description so you can go down there. And anything you buy from kit.com goes towards my Amazon affiliate account. So um, it helps me out in maintaining this show. So this guy right here is just a USB router. So you can plug this into a, a, a tablet with a USB port like a WinBook or a Microsoft Surface and, and go into Windows properties and change it to tell, to say, hey, use an external network device, network uh, wireless network device, and it'll let you choose it. And then you can flash the Arden firmware on it. And then you can take it out. There's a couple pictures of these guys connecting. They, they'll take a, a USB battery and plug this directly into a USB battery, and then they'll take that out to like a field day setup, and it'll connect to an existing Arden mesh network. And you can have very, very portable 
mesh radios to connect in and see the activity on the mesh network, chat with other people in the mesh network. If you've got a um, video camera or um, a VOIP phone, you can use this to connect to it. This one, like I said, right here is going to be good because it's got the external SMA port on it. And I'm going to uh, use that one to plug into the power outlet in my truck, run an external antenna, plug the Ethernet from the WAN port into my mobile 4G router, which also has an external antenna to pull in the AT&T network. And then that'll be a mobile mesh, network, uh, mesh router. Very small, very compact, very low power uh, consumption. And um, it'll be really neat to see how that works. Probably do another episode on that upcoming to where I have um, uh, yeah, probably do an another episode on that upcoming when I have um, time to after I put all that together and put it in the truck. I've actually got all that right now. It's sitting in the house put together. Obviously, this is not in it yet, but um, it's all put together and working. I just haven't put it in the truck yet. So I want to put it in the truck and have it a 100% mobile application. So I'm going to go plug up this device. One window, two window, one window, two window. I love this camera up here. So I'm going to go plug up this device and we're going to log into it real quick. And I'm going to show you what it looks. It looks like a standard Arden mesh networking device. If you want to know how to load mesh networking software onto or mesh networking firmware onto a, a commercial device, check out this video right here. All right, so we've got this plugged in here, standard micro USB, and I'm going to go to uh, this computer back here, which is hard, which is my uh, Ubuntu Linux uh, desktop that's hardlined into my air router that I keep in the shack here, which is actually an, a tunnel server uh, with several tunnel clients connected to it. The Arden, the built-in tunnel server and client system in the uh, in the Arden firmware. So if I go over here, this is, I'm remoted into my Ubuntu Linux box that's behind me. Uh, let's stop the auto refresh. This is actually, this is the AR20 Grapevine. AR is for air router, 2 is for 2.4 giga, 2 gigahertz, and O is Omni, directional antenna. It's kind of like a little naming convention that we that many of us use out here and let me increase the size on this so everybody can see it a little bit better so these are all the current neighbors and you'll notice that that's tunnel 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 these are all tunneled in here but this one right here doesn't have the tunnel after it that's because this glar20 dot port dash portable is this device that we were just looking at so that's just what I've named this device. It's actually called a 150M mini smart router. But I mean, you can name it whatever you want to. It's totally up to you. And you notice that there's no ethernet plugged into it right now. It's just all connected via the RF link because there's, a, there's an RF antenna underneath the desk here, which eventually will go out on top of the shack. And then that right there is connected via RF link to this and it's now become part of the existing mesh network. So if I go to mesh status here, this is the name of the device that I'm currently logged into. This is my current neighbors. And then all the remote nodes are all the nodes that my current neighbor can see. If there were multiple current neighbors, then every node that my current neighbors could see would show up in this list. So this list can get kind of long and tedious sometimes. There's only 44 in here right now. That's because one of my connections to Denton is currently not up. But um, yeah, the, the connections to Dallas are up, but the connection to Denton is not currently up. Um, usually I have a tunnel into both Dallas and Denton. And this number right here, this 44, will be anywhere from 70 to 100, um, giving the time of day. Because some mesh links go up and down and links are stronger in other places than some in some places than other places and um all those places b with uh with drops in between one or two links is just another place we need another mesh node so building out the mesh network is kind of like a never-ending process 
but you can stick it on auto refresh, especially for a portable unit like I intend to use this one. And then it'll just keep refreshing and show you everything new. If it picks up something new, it'll show up in this list right here. So I'm going to go to quit, go into setup, and we're running channel negative two, channel width of five megahertz. And that is the name of, I can change the name, I can change the password, I can put a node description in here if I want to. I could go to, into tunnel client, I could set up a tunnel client so that it connects back to my, my server, which I'll do eventually. I'm not going to do it right now. And then if I want to update the firmware, I can go in here. This is a nightly build, the current nightly build that I've got on it right now. So I could download a new nightly build. Let's go here. And I'm going to go uh, software nightly builds. GL iNet firmware. And we're looking for GL AR150, which is this current device that I've got. The USB stick is called a, um, a USB 150, which would be this file here. This file would be the USB 150. And again, this is the AR150, which is this file. And the USB 150, which is this file. These are the two I'm debuting today. These are the two I'm showing you today. There's two others out there right there. There's actually three or four versions of this uh, 150M mini smart router. But they, don't, they may not support all of them, but they support more than one of them. So I'm going to go, and if we look at this, we're going to 1022-412A. And my current version is 960-D something. Um, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to download this one. Then I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to go... Do not... Uh, if you're running... If you're running uh, nightly builds, don't use this uh, select firmware thing here. you got to upload it manually right here. That, yep, I downloaded this one the other day. That's for an error router. This is for a GLAR150. Open. It shows right there. Disable tunnels first. Okay, let me switch this. The tunnel screen is going to show my um, tunneling password. So I'm going to uncheck the tunnel, which the tunnel is not... The tunnel is not active right now because it's seeing it locally. Now I'm going to go back to administration. Go here. Choose file again. Open. And upload. And you'll see uploading down here at the bottom corner. The status right there. And it's going to come to the screen telling you that it's reboot, rebooting and do not remove power. Firmware written in the background. If your computer is connected to the LAN of this node, which it is not, you may need to acquire a new IP address. No, we're, we're doing a remote update. Okay, and there it is. You can see firmware version right here, 10.22. It, previously, it was 960-something. But that right there, go to administration, and you've got current firmware 10.22-412A1E5, which as of the time of this recording is the latest firmware version for that specific device in the nightly builds from the Arden Mesh website. Easy, easy, easy. So the cool thing about this, like I said, 
is that you could take this to a field day event or to some event um, where you know some area, Hamvention for one, or Orlando Hamcation. You can take this and plug it into your laptop and tell your laptop, your Windows OS or your uh, Linux OS, or I assume Mac will do it, I don't know, uh, to use your USB device as your network adapter rather than the current, the built-in Wi-Fi adapter. And then this device will allow you to connect to the existing mesh network and you can be on the mesh network through a USB network adapter. Very cool stuff. This is really cool to use in a portable application because it's just powered by micro USB. So, uh, some really neat, really, I'm really looking, I'm really impressed with the way that Arden has kept up, kept their stuff updated and is progressing more and more. They've added uh, a lot new of new different hardware devices since I started using mesh networking a couple years ago. So it's, and those nightly builds get updated. I don't know if they get updated every night. They're called a nightly build. I'm not sure if it's every night, but it's very reg very often. Two, three, four, five times a week, maybe something like that. So um, a lot of cool new features and test features in there that you can find. So 73 guys, let me know in the comments if you are currently using Nesh networking, how you're using it, what different devices you have on it, and um, um, hopefully see you out there sometime on the Nesh network. 73.